All right, now the more astute of you might notice that the uh, resolution of the screen is just a teensy little bit different. It's almost like things are a little squished. In fact, this uh, little arcade thing doesn't seem to be quite the regular arcade resolution. And why would that be? That's because we're playing a Play Choice 10. So, what this basically is, is it's an arcade cabinet that you can play Nintendo games on. So instead of like entering quarters to press play, then you enter quarters to earn time. So let's put in a hefty 30,000 something time units, and let's start. So let's play Yo Noid. The Noid, if you are not aware, and or were born in the 90s, uh, The Noid was a prominent um, advertising gimmick used by, I believe, Domino's Pizza to advertise their pizza. He was a uh, lovable scamp akin to uh, Lucky from the Lucky Charms, who would constantly try to steal pizzas from people. Or so I gathered. I, I was not really privy to the Noid. So this um, game, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. It's trying hard. It's got like two layers. I, I'm beginning to wonder if like they managed to enhance things somewhat because it's on the arcade machine because I'm a little dubious that the Nintendo could produce such amazing effects such as two screens in one. Also, I kind of don't like how the water level just randomly oscillating, so sometimes you can get caught below it, sometimes you can't. It's, it's one of those weird arcane gameplay mechanics. Also, just gonna give a quick little shout out to Rayman, who who the Noid's attack vaguely resembles, where it's just like a disembodied hand flying out. Rayman had that. I believe he was the first. Although then there was also Dynamite Hetty, who... Well, it wasn't necessarily his hand that did it. It was the same kind of concept of a disembodied character guy shooting out one of his body parts. And the music is nice and catchy, but thankfully it's in the background. All in all, not not a very hard game, actually. I mean, if you've watched this show a lot, you, you probably know that sometimes I mess up. A little bit. Oh, God, what is... You know, I vaguely remember. Oh, jeez. Is... Oh, okay. So, there's this game going around. It's called, like... It, it's the fingers game. Where you, like, bonk their fingers. And then, um, whoever... Whoever gets more fingers. No, no, no. Basically, you try to get five on each finger. Maybe this is more like... Huh. All I know is if I got this as a kid, I'd, I'd be very mystified right now. Well, if he's only going two, I can beat that. Even. Although, it, it doesn't really seem a heck of a lot fair, because, I mean, if you look at his cards, he's got a four! I can't do Jack if he plays the four. But he's just playing three, what am I gonna do? Also, I think they're eating entire pizzas. Like, he just ate two entire pizzas. That's, that's actually really hard to do, if you've ever tried that in real life. barely won that one. So I'm guessing the way it works is that the difference is how many pizzas the winner gets. And so I guess... Wow, what a pig. So I guess in exchange for my relatively crappy cards, I get like 20 more pizzas. Unfortunately, I have pretty crappy cards. So I'll just let this guy, um scrub ahead, and then as soon as he plays a one, I'll take advantage of him. Oh, come on. Thankfully, I'm playing against the computer, and as you know, computers always have dubious AI, because, I mean, he's a computer. If he really wanted to win, he would just play all his high cards in a row, and then I would, like, lose, because there's nothing I can do about that. Ah, oh. hmm. I'm holding off that three for a rainy day when he accidentally chooses one. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's on now. Which, just, what's, what's with the drink? Is that like some booze? Like this Yonoid's just waiting around? Barely! I've, I've beaten my two! Come on, game! Give me some credit here! Alright. Come on, Pizza Hut. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah! I, I figured they would do some crazy stuff. Well, that was... I, I hesitate to use the word fun, but that was definitely interesting. This makes for a nice break from regular arcade games, where I'd have put in a couple coins by now. Also, it makes a break from hard arcade gameplay platforming. It's, it's kind of easy. Well, hmm. Oh gosh, the Noid is limited lives? This is why I like arcade games and hate regular console games. Because the freaking Noid has lives. I'm used to arcade games where it's like, it's challenging, but you get to play, you get to try as many times as you want. But the way the Yonoid game works is as soon as you run out of lives, it's going to be like, hey, hey, no, no go, buster. Oh, well, we got a few continues. Oh my god, it's, it's like the entire Mario Bros. 3 world here. A whole Yonoid world to explore. Doesn't that just fill your heart with anticipation? Doesn't that just energize every single bone in your muscle? Body? Muscly body? Clearly you are a bodybuilder. I don't know. Cripes. That ice. Oh, maybe the items you collect in the stage help you in the pizza round at the end. Although I still feel like the hockey seal is pretty cheap. Although he kind of reminds me of like Casey Jones or whatever from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, their um, slightly dim-witted, hockey-loving fan guy who just kind of hangs around and awkwardly makes passes at April O'Neil. Yeah, that guy. Well, anyway, the seal's holding a hockey stick, so they're completely the same person. Of course, I'm only imagining what the seal looks like because I haven't gotten him too many times. Although, when it gets to him. Alright, seal. It's so personal. Come on. Yeah. Sent you to seal. Seal heaven. Did you know that all seals go to heaven? Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's right. Oh, this is gonna be beyond fun. Alright, I thought he would slip and slide on the, uh, platform. C come on. Yo, Noid! You know, if you say you Noid a little bit with an emphasis, it kind of sounds like annoyed. I'm sure this is entirely coincidental. So, you Noid is a mysti mystical creature that constantly sell or er, constantly tries to steal the product he's inadvertently advertising. And he's got long, flappy ears, and I'm assuming he's a menace to children. He's basically the um tricks rabbit of pizza. Although this guy is also kind of has a bit of a tingle look going on. Yeah, that's right, never thought you'd compare Yonoid and Tingle, but surprisingly apt description. Although, whereas Tingle was weird because he was like a middle-aged man, you know it can kind of be described by saying, oh, it's just one of those darn teenagers floating around, causing trouble and mischief, stealing our pizzas. That, that doesn't make sense at all. Come on. Yeah, if you've ever wondered why I like I do arcade games and not Nintendo games. Well, you're starting to find out. So, just as... Ooh, if we press the enter button, we can mess with our info screen. Yeah, I'm sure you've read the Yonoid thing like three times by now. So anyway, that was Yonoid. That was an interesting break from regular arcade games, but next episode it's a real arcade game, I promise. Oh god, the Yonoid. 
I'm so glad they didn't animate him very realistically in the game, because otherwise he would look like that. Man, if I was a kid, I'd be very disappointed that I put 30 minutes into this game. And on that note, this cat's got a scat.